All right, so we're just going to do a quick tour here of the inside of, uh, of my RV-10. Uh, talk a little bit about the avionics and the interior that I wound up installing. All right, so we've got uh, all kinds of extras that we put in here. This definitely isn't the stock interior. Uh, a lot of the interior products uh, were made from uh, Aerosport products out in Ohio. Um, so you can see we've got some leather seating front and back. Um, the, uh, the center console here, the armrest has a throttle quadrant. Typically, um, these controls are, are mounted up front, but I wanted them kind of similar to how I, I was used to flying with my Archer with the, uh, the controls, um, right in the middle there. So we got a uh, nice little cubby here on the, uh, on the ports here for all my headsets, I wound up doing uh, panel powered. Um, you know, I've flown with Bose and light speed um, noise canceling headsets and I didn't want to deal with batteries. So I put panel powered um, ports in all four positions. In the back, I also did uh, regular jacks just in case I have passengers that, uh, you know, I don't want to use Bose headsets for. Um, from a panel perspective, you know, G full G3X system. We'll, uh, we'll start this up here. Actually, I don't need the standby battery. So right now I've got the plane plugged in. Um, I use an EarthX battery and then I put, I'll, I'll show you the port that I put in the back. I can use uh, to charge the battery as well as power my avionics if I wanted to play around. Um, so dual G3X system. And then you'll see I've got the GTN 650 on the bottom there. That's uh, so I can legally fly IFR. The GPSs that are built into the G3X system don't allow you to do that. They're not certified for IFR flight. So that's the whole reason why I've got the G3X there. Um, other thing you'll notice, I've got uh, dual electronic ignition that has its own uh, standby battery. So basically from an electrical standpoint, I've got uh, two alternators, a main battery, I've got a backup for my ignition, and then I've got a, a backup for my avionics. It'll power just the two G3X systems. Uh, the G5 actually has its own internal backup battery. So in the case of a uh, complete failure of the electrical system, I've got enough batteries for my avionics to probably last me about an hour and 30 minutes to an hour on my, uh, my backup for the ignition. Um, from a lighting perspective, landing lights, taxi lights, nav, strobes, and then I've got some cabin lighting that I installed myself. Uh, not the best in the world, but we've got some LEDs there uh, that, that light up the cabin, so you can see those. And then I've got individual map lights for all four positions. Uh, those are LEDs as well. Again, looking at interior components, this whole overhead console, carbon fiber, uh, made by Aerosport Products. I got their hanger for the uh, headsets, and then I also installed their hanger for, uh, for the two front seat belts. Uh, lastly, you'll notice the, uh, the oxygen port on the side there. So I've got four place built-in oxygen. Um, it's the Mountain High Pulse Demand System. So what's really nice is that it only gives you oxygen when you inhale. So it's very efficient. Uh, I filled the, uh, the bottle up. It's a 48 cubic foot bottle. Filled it up a year ago. Still have uh, plenty of oxygen left. In the back we've got our uh, um, fire extinguisher and then there's some heat controls for the back seat as well as a USB plug uh, to charge um, iPads or whatever the folks in the back seat has. And then uh, the last thing that I'll, I'll note here I've got an oil cooler shutter that allows me to dial in my oil temperature, which is really nice for flying in the winter. Um, cabin vent actually um, gives me air above. So there's a NACA duck servo in the back that allows me to open and close that. And then I've got my cabin heat uh, up front as well. And then you'll notice I can't, can't go anywhere without a cup holder. And moving around to the back, um, pretty good size um, baggage compartment here. This is where I plug in my uh, battery charger. 
I've got a mount here that I put my uh, tow bar on. And then for filling my oxygen system, I've got a little port here. As you can see, eh, it looks like it is getting a little bit low. So I'll have to fill that pretty soon. So that's it. Hope you uh, enjoyed the little interior tour of the RV-10. We'll uh, talk to you soon.